Hello Divination and welcome. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to change Divi's column stacking order on mobile devices. So without wasting a lot of time, let me show you how. Before we get started, we're going to need a few things in place. So first off, you're going to be using some CSS and also in our example, we're going to be using an image which has dimensions of 770 by 443. Now, if you'd like to follow along step by step, I will also include a link to the post which has all the CSS code in the show notes below. All right, so let's get started. And the first thing we want to do here is to make sure you're logged into your WordPress admin dashboard. So let's start off by adding a brand new page. So I'm going to come over here to pages and click on add new. Right, we can call this page whatever you want. So in this example, I'm just going to call it stack. Now, you know, by now that I enjoy using the visual builder. So I want to go ahead and activate that. So I'm going to click on use visual builder. Now to start off with, I'm going to need to have two columns. So I'm just going to click this plus button here and add two columns. Now, one of the columns is going to need an image and the other one is going to need some text. So I'm going to click this plus button here to add our, our image module. I'm just going to search for image it saves me scrolling all the way down through the um, modules. So I'm going to click on image here. Okay, so now I'm going to upload my image. So I'm going to click the upload button. I'm going to click upload files. Now I've already set my image to the right dimensions of 770 by 443 as mentioned before. Uh, so I'm just going to click on select files. Now my file is on my desktop. So I'm just going to click here and click open. Okay, now that it's uploaded, I'm going to click on upload an image. And now you can see my image is added in there. So next, I'm going to add a text module in here so I can add my text. So I'm going to select my text module and paste my text in here like that. Now, what I'm also going to need is a heading. So I'm going to come over here right at the top. Just drag this so I can see where I am. So what I'm going to do here is just, just to add a heading as my main uh, heading title. And then I'm just going to go ahead and save. Now, okay, so next I'm going to come over here and highlight the heading text. Click this double A so I can access uh, the tag. So now I've just clicked on H2 and now you can see we have our heading in place. Now, once you're done with that, go ahead and save. So I'm just going to hit Command S to save. So the next thing we're going to do is to duplicate this row. So I'm going to come over here and click this button here to duplicate. So what we need to do now here is to drag the image over to the right and the text over to the left. So by hovering over this image, we can just click and drag to the right. And now we need to drag the text module over to the left. So I'm just going to drag it to the left. Now, here's the thing. If we see the order of how we have our information here, once we switch to the mobile view, you can see that our order becomes different. OK, we have the first image there, the text, and then we also have text and then the image. But this may not be the order that we um, require in this design. A better layout for your mobile will be to change the stacking order of the columns in one of your rows so that you get a more consistent layout of the content. So there's two ways we can change the column stacking order on mobile. Now, the first one is changing the column stacking order by you by using Divi's disable on feature. So let's start off by doing that. So we need to duplicate this row one more time. Next, we need to open the row settings. And then I'm just going to search for disable. So this is where now we can get the option to disable on phone, tablet or desktop. But for now, we need to disable this on the phone and the tablet. Now, once you've done that, go ahead and Click on save. Now that the second row is hidden from mobile devices, next we need to change the layout of our third row to show how we want the order of the columns to be on mobile. So we need to start off by dragging. So we need to drag the text over to the right like that. And we need to drag the image over to the left. So what we need to do next is to disable this from the desktop devices. So I'm going to come over here to the um, settings of the row. And then I'm just going to click on DI so this disable on can come. So here now I'm just going to make sure that it's disabled on desktops. And then I'm going to go ahead and save. So let's go ahead and save and take a look at our result. So I'm going to come over here, click on save. 
Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna shrink my desktop to simulate a mobile device and let's see how that looks. So we can see now that um, we have the desired layout. So let's go back into our visual builder. So with the ability to disable and enable certain sections of content, you can change or reorder any type of layout easily. In our second example, we're going to go through and see how we can change the column stacking order on mobile devices, but this time we're using CSS classes. So first, let's go into our dashboard. So I'm going to come over here to dashboard, click on theme customizer, and then we're going to come over here to additional CSS. And I'm just going to select this page so that I can see my changes as I'm doing this. So over here, right at the bottom here, add a few lines so we can paste our CSS code. So I'm going to paste our CSS code here, and then we're going to save and publish. As mentioned before, if you'd like to follow along, this CSS code can be found in our post, which I've linked in the show notes below. So let's go ahead and save and publish. Now that we have our CSS in place, let's apply these classes to our page. So let's go back into our Visual Builder. First of all, we need to make sure that these two rows are active. So we're going to go ahead and delete this third one. And then we're going to come over here again to the row settings and make sure that nothing is disabled. So we can see here we have our disable on phone and tablet. So let's just uncheck that and make sure that nothing is, in, is disabled. So go ahead and click on save changes. And we know that we haven't uh, disabled anything on the first one. So we're going to leave that as it is. So the next thing is to make sure that our rows are created using the following directions. So column one needs to be the image and column two needs to be the text left and dragging the text to the right like that next we are going to go into the row settings of the second row so let's go ahead and click on the gear icon click on advanced and then css id and classes so let's add our css class go to column one css class and paste this class Let's go to column two CSS class and also add this one. Now let's save and take a look at the result. So I'm going to save the page. And now by clicking the mobile view, we can see that uh, this has taken effect. So now we have the image first, then the text, then the image, and then the text. So our stacking order now is correct. You can also change the order of any column using the same method. Remember that the custom CSS enables you to add first, second, third, and fourth placement values. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe on our social media platforms. By doing so, you'll be notified every time we produce a video. We are going to be producing more videos similar to what you're seeing today. So until next time, thanks for watching and see you soon.